<coughs> so, you guys saw my post yesterday. We had to put one of our turkeys down. Um, I had a bunch of issues going on with it. And I thought one of our gray rabbits was going to have a litter soon. So I put her in a separate hut from the other ones. She still has not had her litter. Um, but this one we got right here. Uh, when I just went to check out on, on them um, about a half hour ago, I noticed she was in one of the nesting boxes. And I saw there was babies in there, so I went to check on them. Um, this is our first litter. They call them kits. Um, baby rabbits are kits. And it was our first litter, and I wasn't sure what was going on with them. They weren't moving around, so I brought her and the babies inside. And, um, I think what happened was she had them prematurely, so they are all dead. Um, she is acting a little sad. Uh, she's been wrestling around trying to hold on to them. Um, so, I'm gonna show you guys what they look like. <coughs> so, here they are. There are six of them. I'm going to have to root through her nesting box again and see if there's any more. But there are six. So let me grab one. It's okay, girl. So, I think what happened was she just had them early. Unfortunately, that's six uh, meat rabbits we would have been processing in a couple weeks. Um... So it's unfortunate, none of them, none of them made it, and I don't think it was anything that she did. I think she may have just went into, uh, into labor early, so that's another unfortunate thing. I guess the good thing about rabbits, though, is they um, reproduce quickly, so I think tonight I'm going to put her in a separate hutch by herself. Let me flip it around so you guys can see her. I'm going to put her in a separate hutch by herself, um, so that way she has some time to recover so the males aren't, uh, on her right away, so I feel kind of bad for her, uh, let's see, you guys can see her a little bit better, here you go sweetie, let me flip it back around, see she's, she's upset, I know, she was in here making little noises a little bit ago. Huh. Poor girl. So there they are. Six of them. Dead. So. <clears throat> unfortunately. Um, so I think what I'm going to do with them is I might keep them in here for tonight. And as bad as it sounds, I might um, feed them to the dogs tomorrow. And the only reason I'm going to do that is because um, I don't want them to go to waste. I said yesterday we buried the turkey, and we did. And um, the number one thing for that was because he was more of a pet to us than just a turkey. And, um, number two was that we were worried that, uh, if his meat was contaminated at all, we didn't want to have, um, the dogs catch anything. So, I think this, what just happened here was she had him too early for some reason. Maybe stress, I don't know. But, she did a good job. She, they pulled their fur out to make their nest and she... Had quite, you can see all her fur in here. And there's a bunch of fur outside in the little rabbit area. So she did a good job doing that. Huh. And you gathered all that straw in there by yourself. I didn't do that. So. Unfortunately, I wish I would have saw her doing that earlier today. Because I would have just moved her. But, um. Yeah. I was out there till like 1 o'clock today. Hi, girl. And so she had them sometime between 1 and 7. Yeah, Steph, it is sad. I mean, we were going to eat these, but it's still sad because they died. But Yep. 
I should have got a video of her earlier. She was in here uh, whining. I haven't heard a rabbit do that before. Oh, you could hear her just a little bit. She was just doing you hear? Her? I know, girl. And I'm only wearing gloves because I was checking her rear end and I didn't want to give her anything I possibly had on my hand because I just got done milking one of the goats. Oh, I know, girly. So I think I might sit some of these in here with her so she can just be with them for a little bit. Poor girl. And then when I move her, I'll, I'll uh, just leave these in here to give to the dogs tomorrow. That sounds bad, but it is protein for the dogs and I don't want them to go to waste. Oh, I know. Did you guys hear? She's making her little noise. Oh, this is coming off. I know, girl. Poor thing. Oh. Dang it. These would have been big rabbits, too, because her mate is freaking ginormous. I know. You want me to close it? There you go. Give me some privacy. Sorry. Well, maybe we can move on to something nicer other than that. And I only have her, I, I typically wouldn't have them in the dog kennel. I just brought her in there so I could check them in the light. Um, and if they were alive, I was going to move her to a different hutch that we have. Um, let me get this locked real quick. So she doesn't get out. And she might even, I don't think she will with her babies in there, but rabbits are freaking... She could probably fit her head through this, so that means her whole body can come through it. So she can't sleep in there tonight, because she'll, uh, she'll end up getting out. I don't want the dogs messing with her. Um, so here's the four peeking ducks we have that we got as uh, little babies a couple weeks ago. Brandon took me to the local farm store for my birthday outing. <coughs> so we got, um, we ended up... We did get two chicks as well, so we had these four peeking ducks and a little turkey right there. So good thing I got a turkey since ours died. Um, and we did get two chicks, but they did not make it. Um, they are pretty small, and you got to be careful when you get, uh, like, when you get some at the same time, if they exclude, like, a baby chick or something, they'll die. The, the baby chicks will die. Even though I have a heat lamp in here. I don't have it on right now, um, but that's on and that's warm. So sometimes they exclude the little turkey there, so he has to huddle in with them. But yeah, see, she's in there cleaning herself off, so we'll just leave her alone for a little bit. And before I go inside, I'll move her out to her other hutch. So that stinks. Right, it's too dark out for me to show you guys anything else, but. <laughs> Just wanted to do another update. Second bad day in a row. So hopefully tomorrow nothing bad happens. Um, yep. Are you eating them ducks? Well, those are Peking ducks. And Peking ducks are a breed of duck that you will eat. Um, so, it depends. Because these aren't sexed. So I don't know which sex they are just yet. So... It depends if they're male or female, and there's only four of them, so it depends on which are which. So, we'll see. If they're all male, then we're going to eat all of them. And if I have a female and a male, I might keep one of each. Um, number one, so we get some duck eggs. And number two, we'll keep the male so that the duck eggs get fertilized. And that way, I can hatch out my own eggs. The duck eggs I have in an incubator right now, I got from someone else that I have been trading some animals with. So we had four pot belly pigs. I gave him three male pot belly pigs. So he gave me the eggs and some other stuff. Um, we still have our female pot belly pig, and she is pregnant. So hopefully, all her babies make it when she has them. Let's see, she's in there just, I don't know what she's doing. Oh, she's cleaning herself off still. Um, I can show you guys the eggs real quick. Jericho. 
just my little uh my lettuce and all that stuff growing nothing illegal nothing illegal guys just vegetables all right and then in here is the that guys i threw a couple chicken eggs in here you're not supposed to incubate them together but whatever my my other incubator isn't that well what doesn't work that great let's see if i can get this on I got rabbit hair all over my mouth. So let's see. So I have to check these periodically because I have to see if they're um, still developing or not. And this isn't the best incubator, so let's see, it looks like it is. I feel like I can see some feathers forming in there. But uh, I have to keep an eye on it because. For duck eggs, it's supposed to be like between 99.3 and 99.6 degrees. And then you have to have like 50 something in humidity. Right now, humidity is at 48. So two or three times a day, I um, use my sprayer for my vegetables and I will spray the duck eggs. Because with duck eggs, you're supposed to... We have to add water to the incubator to keep the humidity up. But um, they say spraying the duck eggs with water helps because... Uh, it simulates the mother going in and out of a water source. I'll show you Jericho stuff if you want to see him. Jericho, come here. Come here, old man. Come here, old man. Oh, oh, ow, ow. Jesus Christ, Jericho. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, you boy. He's a good boy, come here. Come here, Jericho. Come, come, come here. Jericho, up. Jericho, up. Oh, he got the ball. Where's Jasmine? Jericho! Come here! Come here! Good boy! Jasmine, stop. Huh? No, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Alright, well, I'm gonna get off. Thanks for people that popped on. So, hopefully we don't have a third bad day in a row. Spotlight. Spotlight. Thank you.